these two discs are the same at first, and one of them gets smaller as the quantity goes down. It starts at 55 million curies per megaton of uranium, and these are the fission products and activation products and so on in the uranium. These are the radiation. So the uranium is actually included, but it's such a small percentage that it just doesn't show up in any of these charts. The radioactivity in spent fuel comes from the fission and activation products. And uh, at first it drops pretty dramatically. We're down to 13 million curies. And it's been only a month. The fuel's only been out of the reactor for a month. Now, as we go along, this, we're about a third of the way through this animation, and it's a logarithmic scale. So time is going to move much, much faster later on. Now, see, we're already at six months use uh, after use, and the circle has uh, representing the total quantity. And we're down to three, so less than... Uh, about 1%. We're getting close to 1% of what we had the, when we came out of the reactor. And we're five years after use. So still hasn't gone into dry casks yet. Some of the old fuel would, but this is high burn-up fuel. This is representing high burn-up fuel. Now we're 20 years. 20 years after, we're well less than 1% of the total. And uh, the years are flying by. We're going to pass 100 years pretty soon. And you'll see that although this dot is very small on the right, it's not getting small faster, much faster. And now it's all turning to plutonium. As we get past 100 years, we get to 1,000 years. It's going to be almost all plutonium and americium. And uh, the americium is going to become a partial player. See, americium is way down here. It's a small segment, but we're out 10,000 years. It's all the plutonium. And that's really the, the point, is that... This stuff is so hazardous we have to worry about the plutonium, but it's much, much more hazardous now.